Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 20, Construction of Quadrilaterals, Exercise 20A, Question Number 4. And this is the first part of this question. Let's see what have we got here. It is saying construct a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is 5.5 cm, CD is 5 cm, DA is 3.5 cm, angle C is 120 degrees and angle D is 75 degrees. So what you can see over here is that we have to construct this quadrilateral and over here we have got three sides and two angles, right? These three things we have got and using these three things we have to construct this quadrilateral a b c d you can see on the other hand i have made this rough figure as well we have a b c d and a b 5.5 as you can see same for c d 5 centimeters d a 3.5 centimeters angle c 120 degrees angle d 75 degrees now this is the rough figure but how do we construct it on the paper so First of all, you're going to take the ruler and with this ruler, what we are going, we're going to do is we're going to draw. We're going to draw first of all CD of 5 centimeters. Okay, so take this ruler from point 0 here till 5, right? So you can see over here we have 0 till 5. This way I have done, drawn the line segment like that. This is your CD, right? So this is CD. You can label this C. And this has D. This is of 5 centimeters, right? These are the first labeling. So I'm doing this. The labelings we I should say you should do at the end of the figure to avoid making any errors. Now, CD is 5 centimeters, and you can see we have to make two angles from both of these points. One angle from point C, one angle from point D. It is up to you which angle you want to make first. You can begin with any angle of your choice. Let's begin with the angle BCD of 120 degrees. So for constructing BCD, take your compass. We will open the compass to a suitable length and keep it at point C like this. After this, you can see I've opened this. What I'm going to do is with the compass, I will cut an arc for on CD like this. Now you can see the intersection that is here, this point, right? This point where these arc and the line segment is meeting, keep your compass on that point like that. You can see I've kept it. Now I'm going to draw arcs with the same length. See, same radius, right? So this radius, you can see I have cut an arc. Now again, at this point again, see, if I will join this point, I will get an angle of 60 degrees, but I want 120 degrees. So for that, we will double this. So see, I will keep this again at now this arc that is there at this point that was formed after cutting the arc on this and a very short arc here as well. Now your work over here is done. This angle that we have just now produced is 120 degrees. So we can extend this using our ruler and our pencil. So what we're going to do, we're going to join these two points, point C and this point of intersection and extend it like that. Right. Make sure it's very long so that in future you do not need to extend this because if you extend it afterwards, it might make errors and don't make it too short as well. So see, we have constructed this angle and it is of 120 degrees. We'll label that later. Let's move on to point D as you can see in the rough figure. Point D has a 75 degree angle. How do we make that? Very simple. Again, grab your compass. Keep the compass on this point D, right? So let me keep the compass like that. Now, keeping it on point D again, just like what we have done on point C, we will just draw one arc over to this thing. Make sure there are absolutely no errors, right? So this way it is drawn. Now you can see over here, this arc is done, but what actually we need to do now the real thing begins. So constructing 75 degrees is pretty difficult because you have to bisect it two times, bisect the arc two times. In 120 degrees, we have just cut this arc. In 90 degrees, we will bisect it here and here. But in 75, it's a little bit tricky. See how 
now again this point that has been formed we will keep this compass here and i will cut an arc here now this point that is formed over here keep the compass over here right like that now keeping the compass to this point i will cut another arc now you can see over here i have cut these two arcs but i need to bisect them why because this is 60 this is 120 and when i will bisect 60 and 120 that will give me 90 so you know bisection means half so 60 and 120 how many degrees are between 60 and 120 in total 60 degrees Six, so 60 half of 60 is 30 so i will cut another arc with the same radius radius will not change so far keep that in mind so don't change the radius so i've cut one arc over here another arc i will cut it at this point the other point here and again just like that now this thing that has been formed you can see this point this is your uh, 90 degrees so we are going to connect this as well because we need to connect it otherwise it will become it will be uh, impossible to draw and make sure we connect this with the dotted lines right something like that now you can see over here i have cut this with the dotted lines again we'll take our compass now here is where we need to change the radius of the compass you can see so far i have opened it to this much between 60 and 120 but now we are going to bisect this point and this point you can see this 60 degree and this 90 degree we will bisect so in that case we will open the compass to more than half of this 60 and 90 between this something like that as you can just have a look yourself so i've opened this thing to more than half and same thing we will cut the arc from both the points so one arc we will just cut from this point mm, something like that another arc i'll cut from this point as you can see over here keeping it at 90 degrees now and we are gonna just cut another arc so this arc this has been cut and as you can see in the rough figure also this arc we will join to produce point a i will show you how see keep your ruler at point d and join this thing right like that so you can see this angle that is between this point d this is of 75 degrees this has been constructed but what we need is one step is done that is 75 degrees another thing you can see we have 3.5 centimeters ad so this is a a will be uh, sorry this is d a will lie somewhere here only right so for that what i will do i will take my compass right first thing and then my ruler and then on this i will just open my compass up to a length of how much 3.5 centimeters so keep the compass at zero and then take this up to 3.5 right now you can see something like that okay so this you can see we have made it till 3.5 now we will keep this compass now at point d right as you can see i have already cut an arc so this point only i will keep it and now this line line we have just now produced from point d at 75 degrees we will cut an arc on this what is this point formed this point that has just been formed this is point a now point a we have and the last step is we want to draw a b you can see a b is only missing and after drawing that our figure or the quadrilateral will be completed so what is the length of a b 5.5 again use your ruler be careful and be accurate otherwise your figure might become incorrect so again take this and open this to a length of 5.5 right something like that you can see so i've opened this to 5.5 as you can see yourself now this thing is open up to 5.5 we're gonna keep this thing at point a like that as you can see at point a and another arc i will cut like that these two arcs they have been cut join this right join point a 
and this point that is formed here you can see this is your point b drawn right a b c d completed we'll do the labelings now as well so this thing it's of 120 degrees this angle d it's of 75 degrees and we have this your ad right ad this is of 3.5 centimeters and at last we have ab that is of 5.5 centimeters and this figure is drawn and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye